Hi, this is a quick summary of our completed US GOT UTC project, Transit Automation Technologies, a review of transit agency perspective. The automobile industry is transitioning towards automation, and therefore the transit industry in the United States has begun investigating automation in transit operations. While various levels of transit automation technologies are currently available, and more advanced versions are likely to be on the market soon, it is important to identify and understand these technologies in the context of transit agencies' needs. Data and feedback gathered from transit agencies can serve as a valuable resource for vehicle manufacturers, planners, and policymakers to better design automated transit vehicle technologies that can effectively meet the need of transit agencies and ultimately the transit riders. In this study, we have conducted a national survey with transit agencies in rural, small urban, and urban areas to gather input about various aspects involved with bus transit automated technologies and their implementation. From our national survey conducted, we have received a total of 258 responses from US transit agencies, 157 from rural, 67 from small urban, and 34 from urban transit agencies. Let's take a look at the interest among transit agencies in transit automation technologies. Once relevant automation technologies are ready to be deployed, here are the percentage of transit agencies that believe transit vehicles with automated functions would be beneficial for conducting some sort of transit operations. 31% of rural transit agencies, 54% of small urban transit agencies, and 89% of urban transit agencies believe that transit vehicles with automated functions would be beneficial for conducting transit operations. Looking at fully automated shuttles for use in transit operations, urban transit agencies are actively exploring fully automated shuttles for potential operations now or sometime in the future. However, more than 80% of rural and small urban transit agencies are not interested in operating fully automated shuttles in the near future. When transit agencies are asked about the best use cases for fully automated shuttles, services such as downtown or business park circulators shuttles on university campus and circulatory bus services are identified as best use cases for fully automated shuttles in any type of community. Looking at the timeline for implementation of transit automation technologies, some of the technologies most favored by transit agencies for implementation in the near future include collision avoidance, curb avoidance, and lane keep assist technologies. It was observed that as transit agencies size increases, demand increases for various transit automation technologies. Transit agencies believe vehicles with all SAE levels one to five can promote safety. However, because safety of higher level of automated transit vehicles level four and five has not been extensively researched in all sizes of communities and various types of environments, there are concerns and unanswered questions among some transit agency respondents about the technology's effectiveness, reliability, and performance. In general, transit agencies believe that transit vehicles in levels one to three can improve safety while vehicles in levels four and five could cost could be cost efficient by reducing operator expenses and have the potential to operate throughout the day if needed for increased service levels while level four and five do not need a driver transit agencies feel that vehicle uh, would still need an operator or agent to provide focused customer support and monitor the operating environment the need for an operator or agent is observed to be much more important if level four or level five vehicles had to provide ADA paratransit or demand response type of services. Please refer to the final report of the study to learn about study findings in detail. Uh, for more information or questions, you can contact me. My name is Ranjit Koravarti. I'm an assistant professor at North Dakota State University. I'm also an associate research fellow with Small Urban and Rural Center on Mobility, SARCOM, which is a program in Upper Great Plains Transportation Institute at North Dakota State University. At SARCOM, we provide research, education, and training for improving mobility in rural and small urban areas. Please visit our website for more information about completed and ongoing research projects, educational programs, and training opportunities. Thank you.